Right guys, so I'm doing an early morning session, some cardio, and you know what? Look is back. He's back on the channel. His smiley face is back. So Tom's gonna take you up and see him. Hi Luke, I have missed you. Ta-da! Oh, so lovely. Good morning, everybody. Oh, it's Monday morning. What a day today. I'm doing my little morning dip. <sighs> and then we'll take you for a little walk around the garden. Kush and I, and Koa, and my dad, have been quite busy this weekend doing stuff in the garden. So I don't know if you remember the first episode that we said about Dad's sunflowers, so they're all planted now. So 8,000 sunflowers he's planted, so. We'll give you a wee walk around, have my coffee, and then we'll see you after. Uh, that'll do four minutes at 8% of the two degrees. Wow. How many is there? It's over 8,000. <laughs> All by hand, each one, crazy. It's stunning when you see them all up. And it's just a big yellow block of flowers. Beautiful. Another few weeks, maybe four weeks or so, it'll be, all be up. Obviously the rabbits would come in and just chew them all up. So that's why you've got this bit of fence. Once you get up, maybe a foot, foot and a half taller or tall, then you can take the fence away. Sheol, the boy's mom, she was mad keen on sunflowers. She always did sunflowers, so it's just a little gesture to her, and I'm sure she'll be smiling from up there, saying what a numb day I'm doing all these sunflowers. I really do enjoy doing it. It is a labor of love, and the kids enjoy it, and the, the grandkids love it. And, and it's weird, when we came here, the only trees were those big birch trees, there's no other trees here, and a complete wilderness. 87 looked and showed you, and they would run into the garden, and you, you couldn't see them because of the, the, the dockins, long grass, be shouting them, and you just, it was like elephants in the big grass. You just see the grass moving. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come back. <laughs> Brilliant. Here's Kush. Here's Trouble. <laughs> Kush has been up to some gardening stuff with Dad. And if, uh, what have you, Barry the Basil? Harriet, tomatoes, Bruno the Basil, and Carlos the Cucumber. <laughs> I didn't name them, it's just in the company. It's like a gardening guide for dummies, basically, and they name them for you, so. <laughs> Pot gang, if you've heard oh, of them. <laughs> should we go and look at your, should we go and look at your flowers? He's been watering them every yeah, morning. Milk, have we milk moustache on you, but. <laughs> should we have a look? See what else <laughs> Dad's growing as well. Tell you what, there's a pot plate, aren't there? Oh, the strawberries, strawberries, sorry, strawberries. Two hundred two strawberries. Are you not doing a presenting an award or something, Dad? I at the at the garden show, the North of Scotland Garden Show, I'm presenting the trophies. I won it a few years back. That's when Shiel was still on the go. Shiel was brilliant as well. She was good at doing beetroot chutney and all kinds of chutneys from all the different veg. This is the main <laughs> veg. <laughs> Forget all the nice sunflowers. That's basil, Bruno the basil. That's Harriet, the tomatoes. And then Carlos is just a late bloomer. Give him time. What are you doing, you little monkey? Stop eating that grass. There's grass everywhere and you have to go there to eat it. Like we did clean it out. <laughs> the mare's tail that's in there, which is one of the worst weeds you can get. Really hard to get rid of. Come back next year, that polytunnel will be Spotting vibrant, me. full of tomatoes. I don't want it. Joking, <laughs> joking. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Don't know if we've ever filmed, but there's a, a guy that we know, Craig Mulhern, Mulhern Masonry. Um, so, Craig. 
came up a, a couple of years ago and he made this wall for Dad, the Atlas stone wall. So um, it's a mixture of all different stones, I think. The 300 kilo stones, maybe somewhere in there. Tom actually lifted this stone. This is a... Uh, this is a uh, 950 kilos of stone. <laughs> so Thor, if you're watching, you better be ready. <laughs> um, so Tom loaded this 300 kilo stone onto the plinth here. Um, some say it never happened, but how else? Yeah. How else would you put the stone up there? Sunflowers everywhere, Ev everywhere in Dad's garden, and hopefully. Kush and I can replicate something like that, which would be nice. Brilliant. We'll be back. We'll be back. For part three of the sunflowers. Yeah, yeah. Kush and I, we weren't sure what, we wanted some like flower beds or vegetable stuff in our garden as well, so not just to rely on Dad's garden, um, even though it's massive. So we started doing this, we did some little bed, so Dad had some like sleepers, I guess they're called. So we started, um, Kush planted some, it was like carrots, two rows of carrots, two rows of onions, and then we've got some herbs. So this is mint, this would be really nice. That's your lavender, then we've got some chives, garlic chives, normal chives, and at the back is rosemary, um, which would be really nice. And that's that one, bam, lemon. Oh, that'd be nice. So it's nice, you can use like, like lavender's really nice. It's supposed to be nice to put in your room and stuff. It's like, that's lovely. And then the, the mint, you can make teas. Mints and the balm lemon, you can make teas out of. Kush and I, and Co Kush, Co and myself, were away down in London most of the week um, at a wedding. Um, one of our friends, Nanaini and Jason, they're getting married. So, Hare Krishna wedding on Wednesday, and then we're going to Devon, I think for the white wedding the weekend, which would be really nice. Jeez. So really excited for that. Once we get back, we're gonna tackle all this. So just digging it out by hand. That's why I got a blister. Look at that blister there from the weekend. Don't know if we said last time the wall was getting altered because the wall was leaning. We had to get the the bricky. You had to build a couple of these towers just to support it, so it didn't fall. So and we were thinking, Kush and I were saying like when when Co is old enough, let's see if we have any more kids or whatever. It'd be lovely, but. Like, so if when Co is old enough, you can go and like paint on that and draw it, like maybe draw sunflowers or whatever he wants. A mural. A mural, yeah. And then we're thinking as well, this is just the gardener, I'm turning into a gardener. It's gardener's yeah. world, episode. Need to be more wholesome. That is something I'm looking for. This before, this was all like overgrown. You couldn't see the bench, basically. All the weeds and crap had grown, grown over, so we've cleared that. What's happening everybody? Back to the old vlogging format. You can see there's a few trees up here. Um, some tires there be getting shifted. So my job is to go in and chop some trees down. Hopefully everything goes okay. Um, enjoy the shenanigans of me trying to cut some trees down. Can't be that hard. So this is Bear, don't know if anyone remembers Bear, Our initial, we had a dog, but unfortunately um, he got run over. So this was a wee memory of him, Bear's bench, Bear's corner of the garden. So if we think maybe sunflowers along the back there, that'd be really nice. And then just like, like a herb garden. So when you come here, you can smell all those herbs, which would be really nice. And you get the morning sun. So I, I like coming here, the sun's like beaming on me now. 
Oh, that's the good stuff, man. Oh, man. It goes all the way, like, over. So what I'm, I'm going to do is be cutting all this back so we get a bit more sun, so you see all these trees kind of sprouting here, try and cut them back. So that's basically what I was doing yesterday. I, know, I think I can hear Koa crying. Better, to, better get some breakfast. And then we'll go and see the budgie smuggler guys. Go on. Oh, cheers, Dad. Oh, Koa. Why you painting this room? I don't really know why I'm painting it anymore. I've been in here three days. We're hoping to just spruce up Luke and Tom and Ewan's office. Luke doesn't know about it, so it'll be a nice surprise for him uh, when he comes in. Finish off the painting, get some, some nice panelling up on the walls, a nice seating area in the corner. You'll probably see an office tour at some point in the near future. So we're just doing a room at a time. Found this old t-shirt that I'm wearing on top of my t-shirt, so I'm sweating a little bit. <laughs> How are you? Hey. <laughs> yeah, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, come on, mate. <laughs> I was going to wait till you dropped that. Welcome back, mate. Good to see you, man. You uh, okay? Yeah, good. <laughs> nice now to be back. Whoa, holy... <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wow, what the f***? <laughs> oh, look at this! Oh, this is nice. Oh, now we're talking. That's it. Oh, right, boy. <laughs> El Jeffy. El Jeffy. Boss. What was that, Who's that from? It's from all of us. Oh, it's just a car. Oh, it's really happy for you. Harry's being modest. He did most of this. Oh, that's lovely. I won't read it because I'll start crying. <laughs> That's lovely, eh? Yeah. What a difference. Better, uh, Where did you get these from? That's the, the ones that were already here. Oh, but just turned them way. and then you're going to get a board around it. It's oh, class. Yeah. Then Harry painted all the, that bit's all white, and then that's the, Harry says like a coffee table coming soon, so. Yeah. That's really, so nice. Really cool. It was all Harry's idea, wasn't it? <laughs> I put a lot of your teeth in there. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an infant pressure, even more shiny. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. There's an AI one. It's an AI one. <laughs> There's that. Because it was through it on my app, it tells me what to clean and not to clean. What, your teeth? <laughs> 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 hey, guys, so today is quite a busy day, so we've got a. Uh, Budgie Smuggler's up, so we're doing stuff with them this morning, some filming um, and hopefully chatting about doing a, a launch for some new smugglers as well, which will be really good. We've taken on a new staff member as well, Cam, so he's just starting today, so he's getting stuck into the shoot and bits and pieces. So Cam's going to be marketing, um, branding, but a social media guy, kind of all round, so that's really exciting having him on. So we'll take you behind the scenes with that. Hope you enjoy it. Um, but yeah, first stop is some food. Because if Tom doesn't eat, then there's, there's not a lot that we can do. So you're going to get some food first and then go down to the warehouse and do some shooting or some filming down there. So we'll see you at breakfast.
That seems to be ratcheting. Okay, so that works. And then we can just tie that round me. You know, yeah. I look like Is a stuffed tight? turkey. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking I lie on my face and then when he picks me up, I'm then looking up yeah. at the ceiling, yeah? <laughs> that was one of the best. No, your arms need to be down, that's it. A lot just, a lot just happened there. I, well, what I need to do is try not to f***ing bean fart in his face as he's... Bring out the Are you tickling me, are you? Yeah! <laughs> One of the best videos we've ever done with Tom is where I'm hiding behind an atlas stone and it looks like he's going to pick up the atlas stone but he picks up me instead. So... <laughs> now, now I'm behind a log. <laughs> You would find an artist stone rolled up, now we're tying him up. <laughs> so it's a bit, uh, say what you want with that, but yeah, yeah. I mean, if you look like, what does that look like? I'm, I'm, vulnerable, I'm in a, a I'm, yeah, I'm in a gym in the so, Highlands. So we can do this, yeah. so we can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Floppy salmon. Tico, wico, wico. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on, come on, big caps. <laughs> I'm sweaty, I'm dirty, oh, I feel horrible. KG through two straps. Go on, press, go on. Oh, don't. Oh, sorry. Oh, Jesus. He's very strong. Do you want to know a story today, guys, what happened? So we're filming with a budgie smuggler. I was like, I'd normally be up for it, but because of my legitimate bicep injury, I've had scans and said that it's torn. I was like, Tom, do you mind doing that? He said, oh, you little bicep injury. He tried it. The next minute, Oh, my bicep, my bicep! Oh, you can't do deadlifts because of my bicep. The difference is I'm lifting big stones, big axles, everything. I push for competitions. <laughs> if I don't push. How I, much love is in this room? I push for competitions <laughs> and stuff that'll make me Excuses. win. Okay, when you're training for two competitions very hard, and the strongest man on earth is probably the heaviest competition you've ever had to train for. But Luke wouldn't know that. <laughs> I didn't even use my legs. Hello. Couldn't do that early on. That's weird. Right. That feels lighter than the guy. So I had it here, and literally, his like pants went in my mouth, and I dripped, and then I, and I know it was Luke's elbow. Or his hit me, and I heard him laughing. I just, no, I couldn't. I, my core went all. Go on, press, go on. So this, I was trying to breathe, but how you feel breathing is. Into his belly. <laughs> no, I said, nah, stop that. Right. Yeah. 
In all seriousness, is, how, is your bicep doing okay? It's recovering, so I was seeing um, Dr. Suresh on Friday down in London. He did another ultrasound on it. So he reckons it's about just under half we recovered, so probably same again now, so I don't know, four to six weeks kind of left of rehab. Um, the next competition for me is September, so if I get another four weeks, basically July, so should have kind of a decent amount of time to, to prep for it. <coughs> Nearly. Stupid question, Luke. Oh. Your biceps injured, uh -huh. but you're still exercising it to a degree. Yeah. So one of the best forms of recovery is exercise. So not doing bicep curls, but by me doing push press, I'm getting the blood going. So you're wanting new blood to get to the area, so it'll help getting uh, the tendon repaired. So. When I wake up in the morning, my arm, this arm here can be quite stiff. It does feel a lot better, but it's just been really cautious in, in everything I do, so nothing that jerks the biceps, any movement like that, even doing that hurts. So no jerking the tendon. burns your shoulders. You want to keep that band constantly tight. Oh, oh here, man. Well, that's done. Job done. Not bad. Try to finish that. Yeah. <laughs>